in many tutorials on AndroidExplained.com, I talk about installing ADB and Fastboot tools. And generally, I've just linked to this XDA thread and told you to install this program. But in today's tutorial, I'd like to actually show you how to install the minimal ADB and Fastboot tools and why I recommend this instead of Google's official version for beginners and those who are just not familiar with the command line. So I'm going to have all of this linked in the video description and on my website, Android Explained. But you can find minimal ADB and Fastboot by simply Googling that term. That should show the XDA thread up at the top, which takes us to this thread. We can see who the developer is, find out some information about the tool, and then we can, after the change log, we can actually download either the portable or the full EXE install. And I recommend installing the full version as it gives us a desktop shortcut, which is very, very convenient. So clicking on this link takes us to the Android file host page, where after downloading it, we can then open the exe file, grant Windows access, and then from here we're just going to install it as normal. So we're going to click next, we're going to click next, and from here we can change where we want to install this at. You can install it anywhere you want. The default location is fine. You don't need to remember where you put this because again, Remember, it's going to create a desktop shortcut, which is very convenient for us. I'm going to change this, but again, you don't have to. So as you can see, I just changed it to the, the uh, root C location. And from here, again, you don't have to. It's just something that I want to do. We can click Next. I prefer it to create a start menu folder. You know, again, just like with the desktop shortcut, this is the added convenience of using this installer. So I don't check that, I leave that unchecked. Click Next. And again, I like to create the desktop icon. So I'm going to highlight that as it allows me to easily and quickly open up a command prompt directly in the folder of ADB and Fastboot tools. So after checking that, go ahead and click Next, and then click on Install. And very quickly, very easily, we can choose to launch it right here if we want. I'm going to show you something else, so I'll choose not to launch it right there, so just go ahead and click Finish. Now that we have completed the install of minimal ADB and Fastboot tools, as I mentioned, because I selected that option, I now get a desktop shortcut that looks like this and is titled this. And as you can see, when I highlight over it, it shows me where that install is. So now that I have this set up, every time I go through one of my tutorials and I say I need to open up a command prompt, Instead of actually going through and, you know, Windows key R and typing in CMD and then taking that command prompt and navigating it to wherever my um, ADB and Fastboot tools are installed. And also, instead of doing the folder shift right click to open up a Windows PowerShell in a specific folder. We now have this convenient desktop shortcut that I can literally just double click and it will open up a command prompt in the exact folder that I have ADB and Fastboot tools installed. So anytime I need to execute an ADB command or a Fastboot command, 
all I gotta do is plug in my phone, double click on that desktop shortcut. I can open up as many of these as I want. And I'm instantly brought into my folder where I can start typing in things like ADB commands, ADB reboot, ADB reboot bootloader. I can issue all these commands right here from the command prompt that I am given by simply double clicking on that exe file or that desktop shortcut. Now I'm going to be doing some other miscellaneous tutorials like this on the YouTube channel as I'm going through and making some changes to the website androidexplained.com the next two video that I'd like to do is showing you how to update these minimal ADB and fastboot tools but any ADB and fastboot tool install that you have I'm going to show you how to update that to the latest version from directly from Google which is used just a dra uh, drag and drop type of install so that is how to install the minimal ADB and fastboot tools program made popular by the XDA developer Shimp208.